Hello, today I'm going to be talking about event handlers in Svelte. Um, okay, so just to get started about this image, uh, this is just app, this is nothing. Oh, yep. Uh, okay, so I got these images in an array, sick pics, sick pic index, and I've got my image right here, which takes the sick pics and gets the first uh, sick pic right now. So. If I increment this to one, it's going to give me the second one. And if it's two, I'm going to get this third one here. Okay, so it's going to start at zero. I'm going to add a button. Um, maybe get sick pick. Okay. And then to do an event handler on colon click equals, and then in curly brackets, um, get sick or how about we say next sick pick. Okay, and all this is gonna do, we're gonna define a function here. Function next sick pick. And what it's gonna do is sick pick, oops, index plus equals one. Okay, so every time I click on it, oh, it's not working, why is it not working? This needs to not be like that, okay. So just so you know, the reason this wasn't working is if you have it like this, then it's calling this function and returning the result of it. And you see here, it doesn't return anything. So it's just void. Um, so by doing this, it's telling you what function it's supposed to call. Another thing you can do if this looks weird is um, call a function like this. So this is a function and it's calling this function. But simply you can do it like this. Okay, so every time I click, it goes up. It's gonna eventually, once I get here, there's nothing because it's too high. You could add a, an if statement to make it go back to zero, but that's about it. On click, you can put other things here, like on um, you know input, if it's an input thing, let's say this were an input button, then on input, it's gonna change. You see, it goes up one, and it works like most basic uh, event handlers. So, yep, that's it.